Hello and welcome back. Today I will be reviewing Evermore by Taylor Swift. This is her second surprise album that she released last year in 2020. This is her ninth stereo album that was released on December 11th, 2020, just two days before her uh, birthday. This release also happens to be one of the uh, Shores releases between albums for her being almost five months between the release of Folklore and Evermore. Again, this uh, album was produced by Swift herself along with Jack Antonoff. Uh, and there are only three guest features on this album being Haim, Bon Iver, who also featured on uh, Folklore, and The National. Then the standard edition of the album has a total of 15 tracks and a runtime of about one hour, while the deluxe edition, which contains two bonus tracks, uh, which I also own right here, has a total of 17 tracks and uh, has a runtime of one hour and nine minutes. Again, going with the theme of folklore, uh, this uh, album, Evermore, uh, has more of an, you know, indie folk, uh, uh, style instead of her usual pop and country sounds. Well, overall, I did enjoy this album. I thought it was also interesting, like folklore was. Uh, I thought the lyrics were unique as well as uh, some of the instrumentals on this album. Then some of my favorite tracks uh, include Nobody, No Crime featuring Haim, Evermore featuring Bon Iver, and Coney Island featuring The National. Yes, uh, these are all the tracks that uh, include features, but I did enjoy these tracks along with, you know, a few others as well. Uh, I thought Nobody, No Crime was a really good track itself and well, it was one of the tracks that stood out the most to me, uh, mainly because of uh, its sound. Today, I will be giving this album a 5 out of 5. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments, uh, or if you would like to add anything extra that I didn't include in this video. Next week, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the 2020 Experience 1 of 2 by Justin Timberlake, and right here, I own the complete collection, so, you know, if I open it up real quick, uh, it has two discs for both albums, plus, you know, the uh, booklet for the album. But next week, I will be reviewing part one of two. Uh, and this will also be the first album review of uh, September as well. And this album uh, has to be one of my favorites by Justin Timberlake, and I will into more detail uh, next week as you all will see. Anyways, I will see you all next time.